guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am going to be doing a full face using Aussie branded makeup. I did do one of these a few months ago and you guys really seem to like it. So I've gone ahead and pulled a new bunch of Aussie makeup from my collection. So let's get into it and I'll show you how it all applies. I'm starting out with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Primer. Now this primer contains tea tree oil and a vitamin E and it's a very hydrating primer. It's not so much pore filling but it does slightly smooth the skin out as well. For foundation I'm going in with the Mud Makeup Flawless Finish. I have the shade Ivory. Now I did recently do a testing mud makeup video so I'll link it down below if you want to go watch because everything was under $10. I have been so impressed with this foundation. I've worn it a few more times now and just cannot get enough. The only thing that sucks is the shade range. There's only like six shades or something. I did reach out to them and ask what's that about and I put their reply in the description box of my mud makeup video. The sponge I'm using is also from an Australian brand. This is by Nakia Joy. If you've been around my channel for a while, you would know I am a bit of a beauty blender snob. I really haven't found many sponges that live up to that standard, but this, I am impressed. But this foundation, okay, it feels so lightweight on the skin, like it barely feels like you've got anything on. It has a nice medium coverage. It is buildable though. I would say it has a demi-matte finish. It's not like super matte that it's drying. You do get a little bit of a glow. So this is what one layer looks like compared to no foundation. Like, see how it still looks so natural, just a bit better. I love it. The thing I love most about this foundation, though, is how long-lasting it is. Like, I cannot believe that a $6 foundation is lasting a good 8 to 10 hours on me. It doesn't break up. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. It just looks as good and fresh as it did the first moment I applied it all those hours later. I also have a lot of creases and fine lines in my forehead and because I'm pregnant, I haven't been getting a Botox and usually a lot of foundations settle right into those creases, but this one has like a minimal settling as well. It just, I just don't get it. It's amazing. For concealer, I've got one by OXX, which is the Kmart makeup brand and I have the shade Ivory, I believe, yes. Ivory. Now when I first apply it, it looks a little lighter than what I go for these days, but it blends in really nicely and I was really surprised by the coverage that it gives. The point on this sponge is so good for getting up under the eye. So here's what it looks like all blended out. Just look how flawless it looks. It really surprises me. So concealer and no concealer. You can see what good coverage it gives as well. And I would say it has more of a soft matte finish. I'm just going to go in with a bit of this Kind Collective Hydrating Lip Elixir as my lips are feeling a little crusty. I haven't used this very many times, so I'll have to give you an update at a later date. All right, let's add some color to the face because I look so friggin' freaky when it's just foundation. Let's start with some bronzer. I'm going in with the Enco Beauty Instant Contour Wand and I have the light medium shade. A lot of people have suggested to me to try the medium dark because it's a bit more cool toned. Now I like to apply this by putting a little bit onto a palette or the back of my hand and then dipping my brush into it. It looks quite pigmented, but it blends out to be really sheer and lightweight. It's such a beautiful formula. By the way, you guys always ask me where I got this palette and I literally got it in a goodie bag like six years ago. I don't even know, it was so long ago. But I have found some similar ones on Amazon, so I'll link them in the description box. So in with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I just went a little bit high, so I'm going to go in with my sponge to fix that up. I just love the warmth it adds to the skin and it has a bit of a glowy finish too. It is so beautiful and really easy to work with. And then for blush, I've got the Astralis Dewy and Daring Sticks. Now, I was tossing up whether to use them or not because I feel like all I've been doing is talking about these, but it's for a good reason, so I'm going in with them. The shade I love the most is this one here called Girl Next Door. And then if I want to brighten things up, I like to go in with Side Chick as well. To apply these, I go in with another Real Techniques brush. This is the Sculpting, yeah, just the Sculpting brush. And I tap a little bit off 
and then tap on my cheeks to apply. These blushes, again, just blend out really easily and they have a beautiful dewy finish just like they're described. The formula is quite a thin cream. <laughs> I don't know what kind of description that is, but it just makes blending so easy and it doesn't feel heavy on the cheeks at all and it also doesn't move any of the product underneath. I am going to go in with a bit of side chick just to brighten things up. I did do a full video testing these out with swatches of all the blushes, bronzer and highlighters. So I'll link that down below if you want to watch more. I just can't stop using these. I can't stop recommending them. They are beautiful. They are long lasting. They give such a healthy glow. Oh, I just love it. Great release Astralis. You really killed it. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Ulta 3 Contour Goals Palette. Here are swatches of the two highlights. I'm hoping you can see them on my fair skin. One's a bit more pinky and one's a bit more gold. I'm going to go in with the gold tone. I'm just going to use the bum of my sponge and dip that in and lightly tap onto the cheekbones there. I love these palettes so much. The formula is beautiful. They are so creamy and again, just easy to blend. They also have this contour goals palette, which has like cool, to warm bronzers and oh my god i freaking love this i did use it in my last full face aussie brands video so as i said i'll have that link down below i'm only going to go in with a little bit of highlight because i love the glow that that blush uh, i love the glow that the blush gives so i don't feel like i need too much but just a little bit oh look at that Dawn. For powder, I've got the Everyday Protection Pressed Powder by Inoxa. I've only dipped into this once or twice, so I'm not super familiar with the formula, but it says that it contains SPF 20, has a medium buildable coverage with a soft focused airbrush finish. I am going to go in with my sponge and just take a little bit, ooh, that has nice coverage. I'm going to take a little bit under my eyes and set that concealer because it is creasing just a smidge into some of my big lines. Oh, that does have a very smoothing effect. I'm just going to put some on my chin as well and a little bit on my forehead here just to smooth things out, you know? Next, I'm going to go in with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Finishing Spritz. This contains hyaluronic acid and witch hazel and I just kind of want to settle everything in. All right, I've got to do something about these brows. So I'm going in with the OXX Cosmetics Fluff and Shape Brow Pencil. Now the shape of this is like that triangle diamond kind of pencil, and then it doesn't have a spoolie. It has one of these little mini brushes, which surprisingly works really well. Oh yeah, brush them brows up. I've got the shade Light in this one, which is quite a nice match. It feels really creamy, so it glides on easily. And the little brush at the bottom there actually works really well to blend the product out, especially in the front of the brow. Now, as I was doing my brows, I was having a look at my forehead where I put that powder and it has just made my pores look huge. So I'm not sure about that. It looks all right under my eyes. I'm a little creasy. Yeah, chin looks fine. But those pores on my forehead, oh my God, it just looks really heavy and cakey as well. All right, I'm going to put some concealer on my eyelids to prime. And then for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Kind Collective Color Theory Eyeshadow Palette in Golden Bronze. I will start with the light brown though, and I'm going to put that high up in my crease so that the dark brown will have something to blend into. These mattes blend super easily. I swear I've said that like a hundred times this video about everything that I've used. But did you see how quick that shadow blended out? Like, come on, stunning. The shimmers are a bit hard pressed, so you don't really get like a really bold shimmery look, but they are still really pretty. I like that, I can use the same cord for my iPad. The quarter ring. You wanna have to charge it apparently. Yeah. For shimmer, I'm going to go in with this one here. It's got a nice cool tone to it. It's a pretty color. I am going to spritz it a bit to see if we could make it shimmer a little bit more. These two brushes I use all the time when doing my eyeshadow. We've got the Sigma E42, which is just like this tiny little fluffy brush. 
And then this is the Sigma E56, which I love for putting shimmers on. All right, eyeshadow is done. For mascara, I've got the Mud Volume and Fiber Extension Mascara. This has been really impressing me. It makes my lashes so long and volumized. And it's only like $5. And then for lipstick, I'm going in with one by Ulta 3. This is in the shade Born With It. I'm just going to grab a lip brush to go around the edges because I forgot a lip liner. Oops. Okay, I feel like I need maybe a little bit more blush or something. Something doesn't look quite right. Mm. Let's go in with a bit more of the bright shade Side Chick. Okay, that's definitely a lot of blush, but when my eyes are more dark, I feel like I really need it to just add that brightness back, especially because I'm so fair. All right, well, this is the finished look using Aussie Makeup Brands. I really love all the products I used today, except the Inoxa powder. I wish I didn't go in with that, because as I said, it just made my pores look huge on my forehead, and it has settled into these fine lines which when I was talking about the foundation earlier, I said that the foundation doesn't settle into them. So the powder has just really accentuated that. It's not nice. If you've used any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts below or even leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite Australian branded product is. Before I go, let's do a quick bump update. Now I am dressed like a total dag with a crop top on and pajama shorts. But here she is, 32 weeks. Ooh, I am feeling it. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all so much for watching. I will list everything in the description box and try and link as much as I can. Don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.